The Biomedical Research Centre is a collaboration between Guy's and St Thomas's Hospital, which is one of the largest NHS foundation trusts in the UK, and one of the world's leading universities, King's College London. So our BRC links two main sites within South London. The first one at Guy's Hospital right next to the Shard houses our experimental medicine and therapeutics hub with a focus around immunological monitoring and our genomic centre. And then as we go down the River Thames near the Houses of Parliament and Big Ben, we have St Thomas's Hospital, which houses most of our paediatric, neonatal and women's research. Being in the heart of London gives us access to one of the most ethnically diverse and large patient populations in the world. Our key focus with experimental medicine is underpinned by significant investment in world-class infrastructure. One study is a first-in-man study in kidney transplant recipients, harnessing the body's own ability to make regulatory white blood cells. We set that study up here using the infrastructure of the BRC. The GMP facility is where we can purify the cells, we can enrich them, we can store them, and then right next door you have the clinical research facility where the cells can be infused into the patients with proper monitoring. And then further on after the transplant we can take blood samples from the patients and analyse those in the immune monitoring facilities so that we can see if the cells are still active. I am one of the first patients in the world to undergo the treatment here in South London in the clinical research department. I'm hugely grateful to Guy's Hospital. The BRC facilities have enabled us to recruit some of the best and brightest young researchers in the field of stem cells and regenerative medicine. The platforms which are funded by the BRC are really world class. We've developed a novel immune-based therapy for type 1 diabetes aimed at halting the progression of the disease. It's called multipeptide and we've been trialling it here at the BRC. We've utilised a range of the BRC's research platforms. These include the genomics platform and the bioinformatics platform, which draws on our new high-performance computing facility called Rosalind. Through effective leadership from the Trust and the BRC, we've been able to create a genuine clinical academic environment in allergy. Without this sort of environment that we have here, the research we produced, which led to some important changes in infant feeding guidelines, would just have been impossible. We're continuing to invest in innovation in our infrastructure and we're working with a number of international manufacturers to ensure that our capability remains at the cutting edge to deliver our advanced therapeutics. Our state-of-the-art infrastructure and strong commercial and non-commercial partnerships will enable us to deliver our outstanding experimental medicine pipeline. Our partnership with the Guys and St Thomas's charity has been absolutely critical to the success of the BRC over the last few years. With King's College London, we will continue to play a key role in national infrastructure, driving the agenda of health and wealth for the nation. Our vision for research at Guys and St Thomas's is to embed it at the heart of the trust. We've already made great strides on this journey. The BRC and its associated clinical research facility have been key to helping the trust become one of the largest recruiters to clinical trials in the UK. It is fundamental to our ability to realise our research ambitions. The trust that working with academic partners and partners in life sciences will be able to take advanced treatments emerging from the BRC and turn them into drugs and treatments that will be available worldwide.